Welcome back to Primetime. You know, I'm in the middle of remodeling my home like so many other San Diegans. So all week long, we're gonna have experts, or all the best experts around to help me out, to help you out with some great valuable tips. So today I'd like to welcome David Field, the CEO of One Roof Energy, to sell me on why solar is better and why it can save you and me big bucks. David, welcome to Primetime. Thank you very much for having me today. I gotta tell you, I have had one foot in the door with solar. I've been yep. thinking about it for five years now. You know, does it but really never pull the trigger. I haven't, I haven't because I was yep. never completely convinced. And maybe because I didn't really have all my research mm -hmm. uh, done that I thought I should to feel comfortable. So I'm hoping you can really educate sure. us here today. Now, to start off, why is solar better uh, these days and how much has it improved in the last maybe five, 10 years? The cost of solar overall has come down significantly over no. the last five years. Uh, in addition to the reduction of costs, there are new actual financing products that, that make it very easy to get into solar for really anybody. Really, so break so that So it's an down. economic issue for most people. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, I was afraid I would have to put out a lot of money and yep. would I really get the money back in the savings each month? Uh, which is a very good question. So the typical person that actually buys a solar system, most solar systems cost on average anywhere between $25,000 and $40,000 for the typical home in America. Uh, the average person that actually pays cash for that system doesn't see a, a payback for up to seven years. Um, and, that, and that just simply doesn't work for most, most Americans in terms of uh, deploying capital. Oh, right. Uh, what's happened more recently over the past, say, several years is that uh, companies such as ourself actually provide uh, uh, the opportunity for homeowners to go solar without having to actually expend any, any cash. So we provide what, what's called a solar lease to people such as yourself, hopefully. Um, and, and you're a local company. Are any other companies offering that? Uh, we're the only company in San Diego that actually is a solar finance company. Oh, okay. So there are really only about five or six solar finance companies in the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them, almost all of them are actually located in the Bay Area. We are the only such company here in, uh, in Southern California. Wow. That says a lot about your company. Well, it, it's, it's, it's tough because, in fact, we've, we went out and raised almost $200 million in order to finance uh, rooftops for homeowners. And so it's a very capital intensive business. So it's not just like selling and selling solar. It's mm -hmm. really all of that financing activity also. Okay, so break that down and how that gets incorporated into your monthly costs. So uh, let me give you an example. Average homeowner has, uh, average San Diegan has mm -hmm. a electric bill of about $280 a month mm -hmm. with SDG&E. Uh, what we typically do for most of our homeowners is, is sell them uh, 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 the amount of solar on the rooftop that's necessary to, to, to reduce their bill by about 70% or about 70% of the kilowatt hours that they purchase from SDG&E now are produced on the rooftop. So they still have a bill with SDG&E, but that bill is extremely small. So it's a substantially smaller. Correct, correct. Wow, and it really, I, you know, because a lot of viewers, even myself, I didn't know how much energy you're actually using from solar. And can you still use the solar? Does it still create uh, power when it, on rainy days? And because I've heard, <laughs> you know, you hear different myths about that. You do. Right? Well, let me put it this way. On cloudy days, you're still producing a certain uh, amount of electricity. Yeah. Uh, nighttime, obviously not. Uh, but uh, solar is actually pretty efficient overall. Uh, so even if it's cloudy or it's rainy, you're still yeah. producing some level, not as much as on a day like today, bright and sunny day, as an example. Does it ever get to a point where you're getting 100% of power from solar? Uh, you can. The only problem with that is, mm. is what happens at night. And yeah. so what happens is that you don't want to put too much solar on your rooftop. You want to put just the, enough solar to actually reduce the most expensive kilowatt hours that you purchase from local utility. Okay, let me ask you this. At one point, solar panels were an eyesore. Yeah, absolutely. How far have we come as far as that? Because <laughs> you wanted to blend in with your sure. roof lines and... That, that's actually a great question. Yeah. So, um, uh, typically solar panels uh, that are still sold today are, are the traditional panels that are either silver or black framed with, yeah. with, uh, uh, with, with blue cells on them. We as a company actually moved fairly early in the process to selling what they call building integrated uh, PV products. Mm -hmm. And so for instance, the first house that we sold and installed uh, ever was here in San Diego and it was in what they call a solar integrated rooftop. So it was a, a uh, asphalt shingle rooftop, black, and the solar panels were actually built into the roof. So when you stand at, actually at the curb looking up to the roof, you cannot see the solar panels. I love that. And that is really where solar is going ultimately. So all these new homes, that's what they're going to be doing. Well, you brought a panel too. I did. I, I brought a very traditional solar panel. Mm -hmm. 
um, as you can see the silver uh, frame, uh, the blue cells. What, uh, what some manufacturers are doing now is they're actually embedding these cells into roofing products and that's what I was referring to. That's amazing. And these are, these are very simple, this is a very simple technology. Uh, Doesn't look simple to me, break it down. <laughs> nope, no moving parts. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn it over on the, on the back side and literally yeah. this gets bolted to your rooftop and then these tines get connected between the panels and that's it. That's very simple. It? No moving parts, uh, very simple. Unbelievable. Okay, so we have this huge problem with SCG&E and that San Onofre power plant breakdown. They want to yes. pass on that debt to us consumers. So that's why I'm even considering more solar because I, I would like to give SCG&E as little money as possible <laughs> because I don't support that. <laughs> uh, we, that. We hear that all the time, quite yeah. frankly. And, and yes, um, utility rates just went up here in San Diego this month. Yeah. Uh, we'd expect them to go up again in the future as a result of San Onofre because yeah. those costs really haven't uh, trickled through the system yet. Um, what's interesting is that we all hear about how, how low cost natural gas is, is, is plentiful and uh, will be low cost for, for decades to come and therefore energy prices should be low. The reality is the majority of your electric bill is, has nothing to do with the actual energy costs. It has everything to do with customer service, public purpose issues, uh, trans overhead. transmission, distribution, it's overhead. And, and fixed infrastructure. fees this, tax this, absolutely, fees this. absolutely. So no matter what, <laughs> she cut the overhead with this. Exactly, that's exactly it. it, it it's it's yeah. energy independence is what we hear from our our customers. That was awesome. I I do have solar panels that keep my pool, and I have an yep. eight deep eight foot deep pool, saltwater pool, and it faces uh, east, and I'm down in a ravine, so you don't yes. really get the sun back there, which I like because I wanted my kids not to have that direct sun. Yep. The problem is you think, oh no, how is this ever gonna work? I will tell you, I have not been, I've not had to turn the heat on one time. So it's I've saved a lot of money. So, and it's flush to my roof, it's not an eyesore. So now I'm ready to <laughs> take the next step. And, and I, you know, basically uh, homeowners that are looking uh, for solar really should look at alternative yeah. solar products. They should look at building integrated products. They should look at these traditional products. Uh, either way, they're gonna save money is the bottom line. I love it. I love that you uh, can make it affordable too for people with the financing. Because who's got $50,000 laying around to That's purchase That's exactly it. And then wait seven years for the payoff. Yep. Besides you're tying up your capital, it doesn't make sense. It makes no sense. And it's not even just like tying up the capital. It's uh, when a company such as ourselves lease yeah. to you a solar system, we basically provide 20 years of operations and maintenance, uh, warranty protection, How long is the guarantees. Warranty? It's, 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 it's the life of the lease. So if it's a 20 year lease, then we cover all of the costs associated with it. So, for instance, if this panel were to uh, uh, be defective in 15 years, it's it's for us to replace. So you don't have those upkeep costs. It's correct, and that's, that's really huge. what consumers are buying is it's yeah. peace of mind and it's one-stop shopping. Yeah. What about the tax breaks? Uh, tax breaks actually still are significant uh, for homeowners that purchase the system. It's about 30% of the cost of the system uh, they can receive as a tax credit. Can you still get it if you're leasing it? No. Typically, yeah. uh, the owner of the system is the one that has to take the tax cre uh, tax okay. credits. So if you do lease it like that, and there's no financing just by buying it and financing? There is, actually, that, that's a good point. We're launching ourselves this week as a company, uh, options for homeowners. They can either purchase cash, we, we offer secured and unsecured loans, traditional loans, as well as leases. So there are I some like people that. I like that. that don't like the idea of leasing, so they want to own it. because sometimes, yeah, because then if you sell your house or whatever, if you own it, it's got to improve the value of your house. It does, it does. How, what do you think percentage wise? Uh, that's a great question. So the well, phrase I'm coming up with all these great questions. <laughs> you are. Why? Because I'm in the middle of remodeling my home. So the rule of thumb by the Appraisal Institute of America is that it's a 20 to 1 factor in terms of value increase. So if you reduce your electric bill by one dollar, it increases the value of your house by 20. So that's Bam! the rule of thumb. Exactly. I'll exactly. I'll take it all day, every day. <laughs> good. Well, you'll have to come business. to my house and give me an estimate. <laughs> Absolutely. Already. Well, Absolutely. There it is. All the information right there. One Roof Energy. Thank you so much. Thank you very I've much. I've been really so appreciate it. Uh, interested in solar for so long, and I didn't really, I didn't have an expert to ask this question. Thank you so much.